Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to explain the working of the dot fit function in Python. Like you all have, you all must have heard of this function dot fit, or when you do your machine learning projects, you always use this function uh, before you are going to predict the model. Generally, the sequence of using this uh, function is that that your model name dot fit and the array of the input variables and the output variables or this in case sometimes is the test data uh, i mean sorry the training data and the next line that generally follows for most cases is that the same model my model dot predict and the new test data the unknown the unknown variable for which inputs that we are going to predict the results for so my the motive so the motive of this video is to understand what happens inside this fit function here so uh, so for that let us take a regression statement let us take a general problem that we find in most statistics books so i've taken a question here uh, which uh, shows which has one variable which shows the aptitude score and the statistics scores of various students here there are five, there are five students it's a general sum that you find in most statistics books so the reason we have done so is to see if there is any relation between the statistics scores and the aptitude scores of the various students. So this is the general problem. So this is xi which is the input here. In this case it's only one aptitude score is the only independent variable here and uh, st stat score is the dependent variable. So we will check for this x is there any relation of y or not. So for a general regression statement, we have this formula, which is for line of a straight line, which is the formula of a straight line. Y goes to mx plus c, here m is b1 and this uh, c is b0. So the formula of b1, that is the slope, is this one. This I have mentioned in the previous video, how to memorize this. If you want to watch it, you can go ahead and watch it. So we need xi minus x, which is xi minus x. We have calculated very easy. So xi, x dash is the average of the x so we add all this and divide it by 5 we get the x dash value and then we uh, subtract each of the values of these values from the uh, average value similarly for the y this is the y i minus y average so the average of all these values minus y and the whole square of this whole column so 17 whole square 289 and 749 2 like that and yi the square of yi scores here and the multiplication of xi minus yi why did we do this because in the slope formula we actually have this expression so we need to calculate them from here and finally at the end the sum of each column the sum of each column and for this one or not this one the things that we need so the formula of the slope is given here and the formula of uh, the y y intercept is given here so putting the uh, values into the formula we get the b1 and uh, b0 expressions and now we can replace the b1 b1 and b0 from the respective values that we have calculated and we get the final equation from here we get the final equation to here which is this one so if we plot a line probably we'll see that most of the data points probably fit into this line so so coming back to the topic of this video that what does dot fit do to understand in a very lucid and very simple terms dot fit does all of these things dot fit does all of these things internally and this is the model here in this case it's a regression model so it's a linear regression here this is linear reg lin linear regression Here, this is a linear regression model my model and dot fit does x what is xi xi here is this one as we can see suppose there were more variables like there were not just aptitude score there were many other variables maybe the uh, score for science maths and all those so we could then it would be xi xi would be an actual an array so this one would be an array in that case we would just put the we would just store uh, all the dependent variables in the array called x or whatever we want and we have to pass that and this one is the outcome variable or that one that we are trying to predict so so this this thing that is happening which is which we in machine language terms we call it training training the model training the model is nothing but getting the weights in this case just the slopes in this case we get the slopes 
and the y-intercept assigned so that we get a generalized line to which we are fitting the model. So this whole thing which we call training in machine learning language is done inside the fit function. The whole thing is done inside the fit function where life is made easy for us by Python. And what is predict? So suppose after this five students we get a new student, we get a sixth student who's maybe the aptitude score is maybe uh, 85 or something like that. So where will this point fall? So we put x, we put 85 in the x value and then we calculate the y value for it and then we will get the y point also for that which is the predicted point. To do this whole thing that we have, I have just right now mentioned, we need predict function. So here we give an unknown value for the x. So in this case, I said the six student maybe might be 85. So if we put 85 here, we will get the respective y value, which we can, we can calculate in this case by putting 85 here and then calculating the y value. This whole thing that I said right now is done by this. Now imagine this uh, x being a large number of values, like similarly x unknown could be an array of variables. Like you need to predict 100 unknown variables. So in this case, x would be in the array of the unknown or the series of the unknown. So so my main reason for making this video is what the fit function does. The fit function just does this whole thing inside this abstraction layer or abstraction as we call it is fit. Thank you.